Hi, I'm Marcy Billen with Rui Team Realty and Keller Williams Willenix here in Norman, Oklahoma. And this is part two of how to prep your house for sale. So beyond doing upgrades and repairs, there is a strategy to actually get your house sold. Do you like this content? Go ahead and hit subscribe, that way you don't miss anything. So one of the first questions that you're going to need to ask yourself is, can you live in your house as you're selling it? Or do you need to go ahead and move out? Maybe you can purchase a new house before you sell your house. Maybe you can't. This is a question that you need to go to your financial advisor with, or you can talk to a local lender as well. Understanding your options for financing and your hard-earned cash can make this so much smoother. I would start this conversation long before you actually think of selling your house. This is so you can adequately prepare your finances and come up with a strategy that's going to save you the most money in getting into a new home. Another critical piece of this process is staging. You're going to need to intentionally stage your home so buyers can imagine themselves living in the space. Three of my top recommendations for staging. You're going to need to remove all personal items from your house. This includes photos and it includes religious items. So when you remove photos and religious items from your house, you're helping the buyer see where their stuff's gonna go, where their picture is gonna go on the wall or on this table. You're gonna see where all of their religious items are gonna go if they have those. This helps them really put themselves in your house and you want people to be able to imagine themselves living in your house, right? This is a big one. And it's something I run into a lot. You need to remove all towels while you're doing showings and while you're taking photos. So what's the reasoning for the towel thing? Well, it's, it's kind of gross, right? Like when you have towels out that you've used that morning and they still look wet, um, or you've washed your hands on them, maybe they're a little bit ratty and maybe you don't even notice. It just doesn't look great. Also, it takes people's eyes away from the actual room. So like in the bathroom, they see towels that are hanging, especially if they're a little bit crooked, towels that are hanging on the wall, then they may not see the room for what it actually is. And we wanna help them to do that, right? The last thing is large pieces of furniture. So a good rule of thumb is in any given room, you want to remove one large piece of furniture. So in the master bedroom, I often recommend removing one of the dressers or the only dresser if there is one in there. So the reason for this is your furniture is probably amazing and that's fantastic, but the buyer needs to see the space, not your beautiful piece of furniture. All of the staging helps you set up to get your marketing materials done. So what are marketing materials? Professional photos, probably video, maybe some 3D shots, and maybe even drone shots, just depending on your property. I don't always choose to do all of these, but a combination of these items works to get as many eyes as you can on your home. So why do you need professional photos? Well, let's take a look at what an amateur photo of this house looks like. Here's the living room and the kitchen versus the professional photo. Professional photos help buyers want to look more closely at your home. This is going to result in buyers actually stepping into your house and it's going to result in more offers for you. All of these things fall under strategy. As you can see, it's going to take some days, maybe weeks, maybe months, depending on your house, to get your house ready to go on the market. If it's not ready, photos aren't taken, videos not shot, your house doesn't have repairs done, you don't have the home inspection, you're gonna have less people looking at your house and you're gonna have less offers on the table. The reason for this is that your house gets dramatically less views online when it's not fully prepared to go on the market. So here's a graph that shows how many people look at a home on the first day on the market versus later. Having your house fully ready and presentable to go on the market, repairs, inspections, those things are done. Your home is staged attractively, photos are taken, Video is shot. All of these things are done. This is gonna mean more buyers that look at your house online. It's gonna be more that actually step into your house and it's gonna mean more buyers that are actually putting an offer on the table for you to take a look at. Getting your house ready to go on the market is a process, but ultimately it's a process that's going to result in you getting more money in your pocket. Stay tuned for part three when we go over the contract process and negotiations.